Tell me about the confidential coffee maker. So back in the day, Microsoft and IBM were working together on this product known as OS2. Maybe you heard of it. Um, but you know, Microsoft, based in Redmond, the IBM offices that were doing OS2 work were in Boca Raton, Florida. And so there was always a uh, there was a small contingent of Microsoft employees who were sent down to stay in Boca uh, and sort of act as, as liaisons between the, the work happening in Boca and the work happening up in Redmond. The rules, uh, the, the rules for how this, was, this arrangement was done was that Microsoft employees, that these people would be rotated through. Like nobody would be stuck in Boca for the whole time. You would go down for a few months and then you'd be sent back home and then somebody else would take your place. Um, the problem, there was a, immediately there was a problem because there was a significant culture clash between the Microsoft way of doing things and the IBM way of doing things. The IBM way of doing things was very corporate, you had to, you know, there was a dress code. Uh, the Microsoft way of doing things was, are you wearing pants? Good job. Um, and so, for example, the security regulations down in IBM were much stricter. You would get written up. You would receive a citation if somebody saw, for example, a security, you would get a security violation if you beeped yourself into the building and somebody snuck in behind you, right? That's a security violation, unauthorized person enters the building. Uh, you would get a security violation if you left papers on your desk at the end of the day and didn't put them away in a locked cabinet. Because, well, you know, it's okay, fine. Visible, visible documents, not in a secure location. You would get a security violation if you wore shorts. Um, I am not quite sure how wearing shorts is a security violation, but nevertheless, that's how they classified it. The rumor was that there were many there were many rumors that circulated regarding these security violations. One rumor was that if uh, if you received six violations, then you would be kicked out and be sent back to Redmond. Uh, however, Somebody reported that this rumor was not true. They know this rumor was not true because they tried it and it didn't work. Um, there were other rumors about like, oh, if, if maybe if a total number of violations amassed by all Microsoft employees reach a certain level, then a certain penalty would be imposed. Nobody really understood what, a, what, what actually happened, what actually happened to all of these security violations. Was there just some big box with a huge stack of papers that things just kept going into? Nobody knew. But one of the other things that caused trouble was that Microsoft people from Seattle like coffee. In the Boca Raton offices, there was a vending machine. You could put money in that vending machine, and in exchange, it gave you an undrinkable brown liquid, labeled coffee. Uh, the Microsoft employees were not happy with that sort of undrinkable brown liquid, and so they brought their own coffee maker to work. This was immediately cited as a security violation um, because it was an unauthorized heat generating appliance. Now, there was part of the agreement between Microsoft and IBM that anything labeled Microsoft Confidential was off limits, and IBM could not open any box or any envelope labeled Microsoft Confidential. So the Microsoft employees who liked their coffee got a cardboard box, cut a door in it large enough to fit a cup of coffee, and put the box over the coffee machine and wrote Microsoft Confidential on it. This successfully prevented them from uh, receiving any further security violations for their confidential coffee maker because IBM, by agreement, were not allowed to look inside. And yeah, they were able to wear shorts with impunity. So